Justin Drew Bieber, is a Canadian singer. He was discovered by American record executive Scooter Braun and signed with RBMG Records in 2008, gaining recognition with the release of his debut seven-track EP My World and soon establishing himself as a teen idol. Bieber achieved commercial success with his teen pop-driven debut studio album, My World, 2.0, which debuted atop the US Billboard 200, making him the youngest solo male act to top the chart in 47 years. The album also contained the internationally successful single Baby, which became one of the highest certified singles of all time in the US. His second studio album, Under the Mistletoe, became the first Christmas album by a male artist to debut at number one in the US. His third studio album, Believe, saw him experiment with dance pop. In 2013, Bieber became the first and youngest act in history to have five US number one albums at the age of 18. Following Believe, Bieber was involved in various controversies and legal issues between 2013 and 2014, which had a drastic impact on his public image. Bieber's fourth studio album, Purpose, was released in 2015. It was preceded by Where Are You Now? a collaboration with Jack Yu, which saw Bieber explore EDM, and win the Grammy Award for Best Dance Slash Electronic Recording. Purpose embodied a multi-genre production and produced three US number one singles, Love Yourself, Sorry, and What Do You Mean. He became the first artist in history to occupy the entire top three of the UK singles chart. Bieber diversified on numerous collaborations between 2016 and 2017 including DJ Khaled's I'm the One, which reached number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. A week later, he released his remix to Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee's Despacito, claiming his subsequent chart topper. It tied the then record for most weeks atop the US Billboard Hot 100 and made Bieber the first artist in history to chart new number one singles in consecutive weeks. He won his career first Latin Grammy Award for Best Urban Fusion Slash Performance for Despacito. Billboard ranked Despacito at number one on the greatest of all time Hot Latin Songs chart. In 2019, he released a country collaboration with Dan and Shay, 10,000 Hours, for which he won the Grammy Award for Best Country Duo Slash Group Performance. In 2020, Bieber released his R&B led fifth studio album, Changes which debuted at number one in both the UK and US. His collaboration with Ariana Grande, Stuck With You, debuted atop the US Billboard Hot 100. Bieber returned to his pop roots on his sixth studio album, Justice, which debuted atop the US Billboard 200, making him the youngest soloist to have eight US number one albums, a record held previously by Elvis Presley since 1965. It produced the number one single Peaches and became a commercial success. In July 2021, Bieber released a collaboration with the Kid Leroy, Stay, which became his eighth number one single in the US. Bieber is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with estimated sales of over 150 million records worldwide. He is credited with three diamond certifications from the RIA for Baby, Sorry and Despacito. He has received numerous accolades, including two Grammy Awards, one Latin Grammy Award, two Brit Awards, one Bambi Award, 21 Billboard Music Awards, 18 American Music Awards, a record 21 MTV Europe Music Awards, six MTV Video Music Awards, 23 Teen Choice Awards, and 32 Guinness World Records. Time named Bieber one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2011, and he was included on Forbes' list of the top 10 most powerful celebrities in 2011, 2012, and 2013. Chapter 1 Early Life Bieber was born on March 1, 1994, at St. Joseph's Hospital in London, Ontario, and was raised in Stratford, Ontario. He is the son of Jeremy Jack Bieber and Patty Millett, who were never married. Millett's mother Diane and stepfather Bruce helped her raise her son. Bieber's ancestry includes French-Canadian, Irish, English, Scottish, and German. Through his father, Jeremy, 
Beaver has three younger half-siblings. Jeremy and his ex-wife, Erin Wagner, who broke up in 2014 after seven years together, have two children, daughter Jasmine and son Jackson. Jeremy married his girlfriend Chelsea in February 2018, and they have a daughter named Bay. Bieber also has a stepsister named Ali, the daughter of his stepmother. Patty worked a series of low-paying office jobs, raising Bieber as a single mother in low-income housing. Bieber has maintained contact with his father. Bieber attended a French-language immersion elementary school in Stratford, the Jeanne Sof Catholic School. Growing up, he learned to play the piano, drums, guitar, and trumpet. He graduated from high school in Stratford, Ontario, the St. Michael Catholic Secondary School in 2012 with a 4.0 GPA. In early 2007, aged 12, Bieber sang Neo's So Sick for a local singing competition in Stratford and was placed second. Millette posted a video of the performance on YouTube for their family and friends to see. She continued to upload videos of Bieber singing covers of various R&B songs, and Bieber's popularity on the site grew. In the same year, Bieber busked shows in front of Avon Theatre Steps with a rented guitar during tourism season. Chapter 2 Career? Chapter 2 Section 1, 2008-2009, Career Beginnings and My World While searching for videos of a different singer, Scooter Braun, a former marketing executive of SoSo Def Recordings, clicked on one of Bieber's 2007 YouTube videos by accident. Impressed, Braun tracked down the theater Bieber was performing in, located Bieber's school, and finally contacted his mother Millette, who was initially reluctant because of Braun's Judaism. She remembered praying, God, I gave him to you. You could send me a Christian man, a Christian label, and, God, you don't want this Jewish kid to be Justin's man, do you? However, church elders convinced her to let Bieber go with Braun. At age 13, Bieber went to Atlanta, Georgia, with Braun to record demo tapes. Bieber began singing for Usher one week later. Bieber was soon signed to Raymond Braun Media Group, a joint venture between Braun and Usher. Justin Timberlake was reportedly also in the running to sign Bieber but lost the bidding war to Usher, partly due to the idea that two associated Justins would confuse the market. Usher then sought assistance in finding a label home for the artist from then manager Chris Hicks, who helped engineer an audition with his contact L.A. Reed of the Island Def Jam Music Group. Reed signed Bieber to Island Records in October 2008 and appointed Hicks as executive vice president of Def Jam where he could manage Bieber's career at the label. Bieber then moved to Atlanta with his mother to pursue further work with Braun and Usher. Braun became Bieber's manager in 2008. Bieber's first single, One Time, was released to radio while Bieber was still recording his debut album. The song reached number 12 on the Canadian Hot 100 during its first week of release in July 2009, and peaked at number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States. During fall 2009, it had success in international markets. The song was certified platinum in Canada, and the US and gold in Australia and New Zealand. His first release, an extended play titled My World, was released on November 17, 2009. The album's second single, One Less Lonely Girl, and two promotional singles, Love Me and Favorite Girl, were released exclusively on the iTunes tour and charted within the top 40 of the US Billboard Hot 100. As a result, he became the first solo artist to have four singles chart in the top 40 of the Hot 100 before the release of a debut album. One Less Lonely Girl was later also released to radio and peaked within the top 20 in Canada and the US and was certified gold in the latter. Following the release of My World, Bieber became the first artist to have seven songs from a debut album chart on the Billboard Hot 100. My World was eventually certified platinum in the US and double platinum in both Canada and the United Kingdom. To promote the album, 
Bieber performed on several live shows such as MTV's VMA, 09 Tour, European program The Dome, YTV's The Next Star, The Today Show, The Wendy Williams Show, Lopez Tonight, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, It's On With Alexa Chung, Good Morning America, Chelsea Lately, and BT's 106 and Park. Bieber also guest starred in an episode of True Jackson, VP in late 2009. Bieber performed Ron Miller and Brian Wells' Someday at Christmas for former U.S. President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama at the White House for Christmas in Washington, which aired on December 20, 2009, on U.S. television broadcaster TNT. Bieber was also one of the performers for Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest on December 31, 2009. Chapter 2 Section 2, 2010-2011, My World, 2.0, Never Say Never, and Under the Mistletoe. Bieber was a presenter at the 52nd Annual Grammy Awards on January 31, 2010. He was invited to be a vocalist for the remake of the charity single We Are the World for its 25th anniversary to benefit Haiti after the earthquake. Bieber sings the opening line, which was sung by Lionel Richie in the original version. On March 12, 2010, a version of Canaan's Waving Flag, recorded by a collective of Canadian musicians known as Young Artists for Haiti, was released. Bieber is featured in the song, performing the closing lines. In January 2010, Baby was released from his debut album My World, 2.0. The song featured Ludacris, and became an international hit. It charted at number 5 on the US Billboard Hot 100, peaked at number 3 on the Canadian Hot 100 and reached the top 10 in several international markets. Two promo singles, Never Let You Go and You Smile, were top 30 hits on the US Hot 100, and top 20 hits in Canada. According to review aggregator Metacritic, the album has received generally favorable reviews. It debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200, making Bieber the youngest solo male act to top the chart since Stevie Wonder in 1963. My World 2.0 also debuted at number one on the Canadian Albums Chart, Irish Albums Chart, Australian Albums Chart, and the New Zealand Albums Chart and reached the top 10 of 15 other countries. To promote the album, Bieber appeared on several live programs including The View, the 2010 Kids' Choice Awards, Nightline, Late Show with David Letterman, The Dome and 106 and Park. Sean Kingston appeared on the album's next single Eeny Meeny. The song reached the top 10 in the United Kingdom, and Australia, and the top 20 of most other markets. On April 10, 2010, Bieber was the musical guest on Saturday Night Live. On July 4, 2010, Bieber performed at the Macy's 4th of July Fireworks, Spectacular in New York City. The following single from My World, 2.0, Somebody to Love, was released in April 2010, and a remix was released featuring Bieber's mentor Usher. On June 23, 2010, Bieber went on his first official headlining tour, the My World Tour, starting in Hartford, Connecticut, to promote My World and My World, 2.0. In May 2010, Bieber featured in Soldier Boy's song Rich Girl. In July 2010, it was reported that Bieber was the most searched for celebrity on the internet. That same month, his music video for Baby surpassed Lady Gaga's Bad Romance as the most viewed, and also the most disliked, YouTube video at the time. In September 2010, it was reported that Bieber accounted for 3% of all traffic on Twitter, according to an employee of the social networking site. On My World, 2.0, Bieber's voice was noted to be deeper than it was in his debut EP, due to puberty. In April 2010, the singer remarked regarding his vocals, it cracks. Like every teenage boy, I'm dealing with it and I have the best vocal coach in the world, some of the notes I hit on baby I can't hit anymore. We have to lower the key when I sing live. Bieber guest starred in the season premiere of the CBS American crime drama CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, which aired on September 23, 2010. He played a troubled teen who is faced with a difficult decision regarding his only brother, 
who is also a serial bomber. Bieber was also in a subsequent episode of the series, which aired on February 17, 2011, in which his character is killed. Bieber performed a medley of his singles You Smile, Baby, and Somebody to Love, and briefly played the drums, at the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards on September 12, 2010. Bieber announced in October 2010 that he would be releasing an acoustic album, called My World's Acoustic. It was released on November 26, 2010, in the United States and featured acoustic versions of songs from his previous albums, and accompanied the release of a new song titled Prey. A 3D part biopic, part concert film starring Bieber entitled Justin Bieber, Never Say Never, was released on February 11, 2011, directed by Step Up 3D director John M. Chu. It topped the box office with an estimated gross of $12.4 million on its opening day from 3,105 theaters. It grossed $30.3 million for the weekend and was narrowly beaten by the romantic comedy Just Go With It, which grossed $31 million. Never Say Never reportedly exceeded industry expectations, nearly matching the $31.1 million grossed by Miley Cyrus's 2008 3D concert film, Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds Concert, which holds the record for the top debut for a music documentary. Never Say Never grossed a total of $98,441,954 worldwide. The film is accompanied by his second remix album, Never Say Never, The Remixes, released February 14, 2011, and features remixes of songs from his debut album, with guest appearances from Miley Cyrus, Chris Brown, and Kanye West among others. One song from the album, That Should Be Me, featuring country music band Rascal Flatts, won him his first award in country music for collaborative video of the year at the CMT Music Awards in June 2011. Time magazine named Bieber one of the 100 most influential people in the world on their annual list. In June 2011, Bieber was ranked number two on the Forbes list of best paid celebrities under 30. He is the youngest star, and one of seven musicians on the list, having raked in $53 million in a 12-month period. The same month, his collaborative single Next to You with American singer Chris Brown has released. The unfinished video for that song was leaked online on June 6, and the official video was released on June 17. On November 1, 2011, Bieber released the Christmas-themed Under the Mistletoe, his second studio album. It became the first Christmas album by a male artist to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, and sold 210,000 copies in its first week of release. On November 19, 2021, the album was listed among the greatest of all time top holiday albums chart by Billboard. The first single from the album, Mistletoe peaked at number one on the US Billboard Holiday 100 and Holiday Digital Songs charts. Bieber released All I Want For Christmas Is You as the second single from the album, which is a re-recorded version of Mariah Carey's original single All I Want For Christmas Is You with Carey providing vocals on the track. On November 19, 2021, the singles were listed among the greatest of all time Holiday 100 songs chart by Billboard. Chapter 2 Section 3, 2012-2014, Believe, Journals, and Other Appearances in late 2011, Bieber began recording his third studio album, titled Believe. The following week, Bieber appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show to announce that the first single would be called Boyfriend, and was released on March 26, 2012. The song debuted at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100, selling a total of 521,000 digital units, the second highest ever debut digital sales week. Bill Verda of Billboard noted that it failed to debut at number one because the digital download of the track was available only through the iTunes Store, restricting the buying option for those do not frequent the Apple retail store. Boyfriend became Bieber's first single ever to reach the top position on the Canadian Hot 100 by debuting at number one and staying on for one week. Bieber was featured on American hip-hop group Far East Movement's song Live My Life 
from their fourth studio album Dirty Bass, in February 2012. The song emerged online five days before its scheduled release date and peaked within the top 30 of the Billboard Hot 100. The first promotional single from the album, Die In Your Arms, was released on May 29, 2012, and the second promotional single, All Around the World featuring American rapper Ludacris, followed the next week. The second single from Believe, As Long As You Love Me featuring rapper Big Sean, was released on June 11, 2012. It peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. His third studio album, Believe, was released on June 19, 2012, by Island Records. The album marked a musical departure from the teen pop sound of his previous releases, and incorporated elements of dance pop and R&B genres. Intent on developing a more mature sound, Bieber collaborated with a wide range of urban producers for the release as well as some longtime collaborators, including Dark Child, Hit Boy, Diplo, and Max Martin. Entertainment Weekly praised Bieber's musical shift, calling the album both a reinvention and a reintroduction. Rolling Stone noted the deeper voice and more intense beats found on the album, although it lampooned one of his euphemisms for newfound sexual maturity. Believe debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, becoming his fourth number one album. The album sold 57,000 copies in its first week in Canada, debuting atop the Canadian album's chart. In September 2012, Bieber was featured on Beautiful, a song from Carly Rae Jepsen's second studio album, Kiss. In October 2012, the third single from Believe, Beauty and a Beat featuring rapper Nicki Minaj, was released. The music video held the record for the most video views in 24 hours when it was released, with 10.6 million views. The Believe Tour, which further promoted the album, began in September 2012 in Glendale, Arizona. On December 14, 2012, Bieber appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where he announced plans to release an acoustic album titled Believe Acoustic which was released on January 29, 2013. Bieber returned to Saturday Night Live as the host and musical guest on the February 9, 2013 episode. His appearance was panned by critics and cast members, including Kate McKinnon, who said Bieber was not comfortable with his hosting duties, and Bill Hader, who said he did not enjoy the presence of Bieber or his entourage. Hader added that in his eight years on the television program, Bieber was the only host who lived up to his reputation. On March 7, 2013, Bieber fainted backstage at London's O2 Arena, after complaining of breathing problems throughout his concert performance and was taken to the hospital. Bieber cancelled his second Lisbon, Portugal concert at the Pavilhão Atlântico, which was to be held on March 12, because of low ticket sales. The concert held in the same venue on March 11 did go on as scheduled. In mid-August, 2013, a remixed, duet version of Michael Jackson's previously unreleased song Slave to the Rhythm, featuring Bieber, leaked online. In response to criticism over this remix, the Michael Jackson estate stated that it had not authorized the release of this recording, and has since made attempts to remove the song from as many websites and YouTube channels as possible. Later, a song titled, Twerk by rapper Lil Twist, featuring Bieber as well as Miley Cyrus, also leaked. In September, Bieber was featured in Major Ali's song Lolly with rapper Juicy J. A music video for Melodies, the debut single of American singer Madison Beer, was released in the same month featuring Bieber in a cameo appearance. On October 3, 2013, Bieber announced that he would release a new song every Monday for 10 weeks as a lead-up to the film Justin Bieber's Believe, which entered production in May 2012 and was released on December 25, 2013. The film is a follow-up to Bieber's first theatrical film Justin Bieber, Never Say Never, with John M. Chu returning as director. The first song of Music Mondays, Heartbreaker, was released on October 7. The second song, All That Matters, was released on October 14, followed by Hold Tight on October 21, Recovery on October 28, Bad Day on November 4, and All Bad on November 11. The seventh song, PYD featuring R. Kelly, was released on November 18, 
it was followed by Roller Coaster on November 25th, and Change Me on December 2nd. The final song, Confident featuring Chance the Rapper, was released on December 9, 2013. That same day, it was announced that all 10 tracks will be featured on an upcoming collection called Journals. It reportedly featured five additional unreleased songs, a music video for All That Matters, and a trailer for Believe. Journals was only available for purchase via iTunes for a limited time only, from December 23, 2013, to January 9, 2014. The titles of the five new additional songs are, One Life, Backpack featuring Lil Wayne, What's Happening featuring Future, Swap It Out, and Memphis featuring Big Sean and Diplo. Bieber released a song titled Home to Mama featuring Australian singer Cody Simpson in November 2014. The same month, Bieber topped Forbes magazine's Forbes 30 Under 30 annual ranking, which lists the highest earning celebrities under 30 for that year. Because of the disbanding of Universal Music's division, the island Def Jam Music Group, in April 2014, Bieber and a number of artists were subsequently transferred to another Universal Music related division, Def Jam Recordings, causing Bieber to no longer be signed to Island Records. Chapter 2 Section 4, 2015-2017, Purpose In February 2015, Bieber released Where Are You Now, a collaboration with Jack U. The song peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and reached number 1 on Billboard's Hot Dance Slash Electronic Songs chart. It earned Bieber his career first Grammy Award for Best Dance Slash Electronic Recording at the 58th Annual Grammy Awards. In March 2015, Bieber made an appearance in the music video for Carly Rae Jepsen's single I Really Like You. In March 2015, Bieber was the featured roastie in Comedy Central's annual roast special, and was a contestant on the reality competition series Lip Sync Battle. Bieber filmed an episode for the Fox TV reality series Knock Knock Live, and aired before the show was cancelled after two episodes. On August 28, 2015, Bieber released a new single titled What Do You Mean? as the lead single from his fourth studio album Purpose. The song is a blend of teen pop, electronic dance music and acoustic R&B. It debuted at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 and became Bieber's first number one single in the country. He set a Guinness World Record by becoming the youngest solo male artist to debut at the top of the Hot 100. It also broke the record for the fastest song to reach number one on US iTunes, reaching the top spot in under five minutes. On October 23, 2015, Bieber released the album's second single titled Sorry, which debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. After eight non-consecutive weeks at number 2, on the week charting January 23, 2016, Sorry climbed to the top of the chart and became Bieber's second number one single on the Billboard Hot 100. The third single from Purpose, Love Yourself also peaked at number one in the US, making Bieber the first male artist in almost a decade to have three number ones from an album since Justin Timberlake, who did it previously with his album Future Sex Slash Love Sounds in 2006 07. He also became the first solo artist to chart three solo songs in the top five of the Billboard Hot 100 simultaneously, and the first as a lead act since the Beatles in 1964. Love Yourself topped Billboard's year-end Hot 100 chart in 2016, followed by Sorry at number two, and made Bieber only the third artist in history to hold the top two positions of the Billboard year-end Hot 100 after the Beatles in 1964 and Usher in 2004. An album track on purpose, Company, was announced as the fourth single on March 8, 2016. On February 12, 2016, Bieber's first four albums were released on vinyl for the first time. Purpose was released on November 13, 2015, and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, becoming Bieber's sixth album to debut at the top of that chart. It was the fourth best-selling album of 2015 with worldwide sales of 3.1 million copies. As of June 2016, it had sold 4.5 million copies globally. 
On November 11, 2015, Bieber announced that he would embark on the Purpose World Tour. The worldwide concert tour started in Seattle, Washington on March 9, 2016. On July 24, 2017, Bieber cancelled the remaining dates of the Purpose World Tour due to unforeseen circumstances. According to Polestar, the tour had a total gross of $257 million and $2.8 million in attendance in 162 shows, becoming one of the highest grossing concert tours of both 2016 and 2017. Bieber was the headliner at the 2015 Jingle Bell Ball held by Capital FM, on December 6, 2015. On January 8, 2016, Bieber made UK chart history by becoming the first artist to occupy the entire top three of the UK singles chart. He achieved this feat as Love Yourself, Sorry and What Do You Mean? charted at positions 1, 2 and 3 simultaneously. On July 22, 2016, Bieber released a new single with EDM trio Major Lazer, and Danish singer Mo titled Cold Water. It debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Bieber's third number 2 debut on the ranking, passing Mariah Carey's record to become the artist with the most number 2 debuts in the US. In August, 2016, Bieber was featured on French DJ DJ Snake's single Let Me Love You. The song peaked at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100. Bieber was also featured on American singer Post Malone's single Deja Vu, which later appeared as the fourth single from the latter's debut studio album Stoney in September 2016. Bieber then appeared in the documentary Bodyguards, Secret Lives from the Watchtower. At the 59th Annual Grammy Awards, Purpose was nominated for Album of the Year and Best Pop Vocal Album, whereas Love Yourself received nominations for Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance respectively. Bieber was the headlining act at the 2016 iHeartRadio Jingle Ball and gave a closing performance on December 9, 2016. Chapter 2 Section 5, 2017-2019, Collaborations on April 17, 2017, Puerto Rican singers Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee released a remix for their song Despacito featuring Bieber. It was the first song by Bieber in which he sings in Spanish. The remix became a worldwide success and broke major chart records around the world. The song reached number one in the US and joined Macarena, as the only English-slash-Spanish songs to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It tied the then record for the most weeks at number one in Billboard Hot 100 history. The song spent a record 56 weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot Latin Songs chart and broke the then record for most weeks at number one on the Digital Songs sales chart. The remix is the most viewed song of all time on the crowdsourced media knowledge base Genius, with 23.3 million views. The song earned Bieber his first career Latin Grammy. As of September 2021, Despacito holds the number one position on the Greatest of All Time Hot Latin Songs chart and number five on the Greatest of All Time Songs of the Summer chart by Billboard. Bieber, along with rappers Quavo, Chance the Rapper, and Lil Wayne, provided vocals on DJ Khaled's single I'm the One, released on April 28, 2017. The song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Bieber's second number one debut and his fourth song to top the chart. One week later, Despacito topped the charts in the US, which became his fifth number one single and made Bieber the first artist in history to notch new number ones in back-to-back -back weeks. I'm the one also reached number one on Billboard's Hot Rap Songs and Hot R&B Slash Hip Hop Songs charts. On June 9, 2017, French DJ David Guetta released To You, in which Bieber was featured. The first music video for To You features Victoria's secret model's lip syncing to the song. On August 17, 2017, Bieber released the single Friends with American record producer and songwriter Blood Pop. Songwriters Julia Michaels and Justin Tranter, having previously worked with him, when creating his hit single Sorry in 2015. At the 60th Annual Grammy Awards, Despacito received three nominations for Record of the Year, 
Song of the Year, and Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance respectively. Viva did not attend the show to perform the nominated song, claiming that he would not make any award show appearances until his next album was finished. In July 2018, Viva reunited with DJ Khaled in No Brainer, co-featuring again with Chance the Rapper and Quavo. The single peaked in the top 5 of the Hot 100 and reached number 1 on Billboard's Hot R&B Songs chart. He was also featured in the accompanying music video. On May 10, 2019, British singer Ed Sheeran and Bieber released the single I Don't Care, from Sheeran's album No. 6 Collaborations Project. The pair had previously collaborated, with Sheeran co writing Bieber's 2015 song Love Yourself and 2016 song Cold Water with Major Lazer. I Don't Care became a worldwide hit, reaching number one in 26 countries while peaking at number two in the United States. Bieber later featured on a remix of Billie Eilish's breakthrough single Bad Guy, which was released on July 11. On October 4, 2019, Bieber and country music duo Dan and Shay released the song 10,000 Hours, which peaked at number four on the US Billboard Hot 100. It became the highest charting non holiday country song in the history of the Billboard Streaming Songs chart and spent 21 weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. As a result, Viva became the first act in history to reach number one on seven multimetric charts Hot 100, Hot Country Songs, Hot Dance Slash Electronic Songs, Hot Latin Songs, Hot R&B Songs, Hot R&B Slash Hip Hop Songs, and Hot Rap Songs. It earned Bieber his second Grammy Award for Best Country Duo Slash Group Performance at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards. On October 14, 2019, Bieber became the youngest solo male artist to spend 200 cumulative weeks in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Chapter 2 Section 6, 2020 Present, Changes, Justice, and Freedom On December 24, 2019, Bieber announced that he would be releasing his fifth studio album, and embarking on his fourth concert tour in 2020. The album's first single, Yummy, was released on January 3, 2020. It debuted at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. On December 31, 2019, Bieber also released a trailer announcing his 10-episode YouTube Originals documentary series, Seasons, which focused on an array of themes, his life post-hiatus from music, marriage, preparation for new music, and battle against Lyme disease. Episodes were released weekly on Mondays and Wednesdays from January 27, 2020. Appearing on The Ellen DeGeneres Show on January 28, 2020, Bieber finally confirmed the release date of his fifth studio album, Changes, to be February 14, 2020. The same day, he also released a promotional single for the album, Get Me, featuring singer Kehlani. On February 7, Bieber released Intentions as the second single from the album. The song peaked at number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100. Changes was released on February 14, debuting at number 1 on the Billboard 200, making Bieber the youngest solo artist in history to have seven number 1 US albums. On May 8, 2020, American singer Ariana Grande and Bieber released the single Stuck With You, to help raise funds for the first responders of the COVID-19 pandemic and their families. The song debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100, becoming his sixth number one single in the US. On September 18, 2020, Bieber released a collaboration with Chance the Rapper titled Holy, which Bieber called the start of his new era, and the first single from his upcoming sixth studio album. It peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100. On October 15, 2020, he released Lonely, a collaboration with Benny Blanco as the second single from his upcoming album. The song peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100. Bieber and J Balvin were featured on a remix of 24K Golden's single, Mood, which was released on November 6, 2020. On November 20, 2020, Sean Mendes and Bieber released Monster, for Mendes' fourth studio album, Wonder. It peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100. 
On January 1, 2021, Bieber released the third single Anyone from his upcoming studio album, and peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. On February 26, 2021, Bieber officially announced that his sixth studio album, would be titled, Justice. On March 5, 2021, Bieber released the album's fourth single, Hold On. Justice was released on March 19, 2021, to generally positive reviews. The fifth single, Peaches was released on March 30, 2021. Justice debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, becoming Bieber's eighth number one project, while Peaches debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming his seventh number one single. As a result, Bieber became the first solo male artist in history to simultaneously debut at number one on both Billboard Hot 100 and Billboard 200 charts. He also became the first male act to have his first six studio albums debut at number one on the Billboard 200. On Easter 2021, Bieber Surprise released Freedom, a gospel inspired EP consisting of six songs. On April 11, 2021, Justice led the Billboard 200 by less than 1,000 units, and became Bieber's first full length album to spend more than one week at the top of the chart in over a decade. On May 10, 2021, Bieber was co-featured on DJ Khaled's Let It Go, with 21 Savage. He also starred in the accompanying music video. He was also featured on the song What You See from Migos' fourth studio album Culture 3. On July 9, 2021, Bieber released a collaboration with the Kid Leroy titled Stay. It was described as a hyper-slick hybridization of new wave and pop, punk and generally received positive reviews. The song debuted at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, and later peaked at number 1 in its fourth week on the chart, becoming his eighth number 1 single in the US. Stay also became his 100th career entry on the chart. Hence, at 27, he became the youngest solo artist to chart 100 songs on the Billboard Hot 100, breaking a record held previously by Drake. The song spent a record-breaking 11 cumulative weeks at number 1 on the Billboard Global 200 chart, and a record-tying 9 cumulative weeks at number 1 on the Billboard Global 200 excluding US chart. It became his ninth number 1 single on the Billboard Pop Songs chart, tying Bruno Mars for the most number 1 singles among male soloists. On September 4, 2021, Stay became the first song by a male foreign act to achieve a perfect all-kill in South Korea, and the first overall by a foreign act since 2014. Bieber was the headlining act for the Freedom Experience show at the SoFi Stadium as part of one Daler's COVID-19 service event, on July 24, 2021. On August 13, 2021, Bieber released a remix to Nigerian singer Wizkid's song Essence, which became his career first song in Afrobeats. It elevated the song's position to number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100. A week later, he released a collaboration with Skrillex and Don Tolliver titled Don't Go. On September 4, 2021, Bieber headlined the 2021 Made in America festival held at the Benjamin Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. On October 29, 2021, Bieber released Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, a cover of Brenda Lee's holiday classic, on streaming platforms worldwide. On November 15, 2021, Bieber announced the international legs of his upcoming fourth concert tour, the Justice World Tour, scheduled to begin in San Diego, California on February 18, 2022. On November 19, 2021, Ryson Tiller released the single Lonely Christmas with Bieber co-featured alongside his longtime collaborator Pooh Bear. On December 3, 2021, Bieber released a collaboration with American rapper Juice World titled Wandered to LA as the second single from the rapper's second posthumous album Fighting Demons. Bieber was the headlining performer at the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix held on December 5, 2021, in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. On December 11, 2021, Bieber headlined the 2021 Jingle Bell Ball held by Capital FM at the O2, London. On January 1, 2022, 
Bieber broke the all-time record for the most monthly listeners in Spotify history, having achieved a peak of 94.68 million monthly listeners on the platform to date. On February 11, 2022, Bieber headlined the homecoming weekend bash ahead of the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. The following week, Ghost, the sixth single from Justice, peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming his 26th career top 10 hit on the chart. Chapter 3, Artistry Chapter 3 Section 1, Musical Style Bieber's music is mainly pop, R&B, and occasionally dance pop. In 2010, Joni Rosen of Rolling Stone asserted that the content of his music was offering a gentle introduction to the mysteries and heartaches of adolescence, songs flushed with romance but notably free of sex itself. During the first years of his career his musical style was noted for being aimed to a more teen pop and bubblegumish direction. In January 2012, Bieber told V Magazine, that he doesn't want to sing about sex, drugs and swearing. He stated I want to do it at my own pace. I don't want to start singing about things like sex, drugs and swearing. I'm into love, and maybe I'll get more into making love when I'm older. But I want to be someone who is respected by everybody. But since then, Bieber gradually altered his artistry, with Peter Jike as a V. Online describing PYD as sexed up, while in Touch Weekly magazine said that his song with Major Ali and Juicy J Lolly might make his fans a bit uncomfortable because of its lyrics that refer to oral sex. In 2015 Bieber released, the EDM-fueled album Purpose, where he collaborated notably with Skrillex, and faced more serious life experiences themes, through feel-good music. Chapter 3 Section 2, Influences Bieber has cited Chris Brown, Michael Jackson, The Beatles, Boys to Men, Mariah Carey, Justin Timberlake, Stevie Wonder, Tupac, and Usher as his musical inspirations. Believe was influenced by Timberlake, for which Bieber was trying to create a new sound that people aren't really used to hearing, like when did future sex slash love sounds, it was a new sound. Acoustic guitar over hard drums. Bieber and his work have influenced various recording artists including Why Don't We, Johnny Orlando, Niall Horan, and Billie Eilish, with Eilish's mom recalled she and her husband considered taking Eilish to therapy over her obsession with Bieber's single and music video for As Long As You Love Me in 2012. Singers Dua Lipa and Charlie Puth, have stated that they were influenced by the discovery of Bieber on YouTube which inspired them to achieve the same. Chapter 3 Section 3, Voice Bieber initially sang with a boy soprano voice, before his voice broke, as was evidenced during the debut performance of Prey at the 2010 American Music Awards. Shawn Michaels of The Guardian described puberty as the biggest threat to his career at the time. Jody Rosen commented that Bieber sings with swing and rhythmic dexterity on his debut album, noting his tone to be nasal. Bieber started to receive voice coaching from Jan Smith in 2008. As an adult singer, Bieber's voice type is tenor, with a vocal range spanning from the baritone A2 to the high tenor F5. In a review of his Purpose album, Neil McCormick of the Daily Telegraph complimented his soft, supple, and seductive singing. Caroline Sullivan of The Guardian also praised Bieber's affectedly breathy voice, noting that the voice Paul's but the songs are often interesting. Chapter 4, Business Ventures and Endorsements In 2010, Bieber signed a deal with Proactive. In the same year, Bieber partnered with Nicole by Opie to launch a nail polish line The One Less Lonely Girl collection, which sold exclusively in Walmart. Bieber's nail polish line sold one million bottles less than two months after its release. Bieber endorsed Adidas, beside Derrick Rose and Venus Williams, in 2012. He became the new face and body of Calvin Klein in early 2015. Entertainment Tonight reported that Bieber had used MyOX, a dietary supplement, in preparation for the photo shoot. Bieber was criticized for, hyping the latest miracle supplement MyOX, to his 59 million Twitter fans. 
In June 2015, Bieber teamed up with Star Shop, a new shopping app launched by Kevin Harrington. Bieber endorses Beats by Dre, Elizabeth Arden, and Best Buy. Bieber has been credited with boosting the careers of other singers such as Carly Rae Jepsen and Madison Beer when he tweeted about them. He has released four fragrances. He launched his debut fragrance, Someday, in 2011, it grossed more than 3 million US dollars in sales, at Macy's, in just under three weeks, which industry experts regard as a successful celebrity-led launch. On the heels of that 2011 bestseller, he launched his second fragrance, Girlfriend, in June 2012. His third fragrance, The Key, was launched in July 2013, and his latest fragrance, Justin Bieber Collector's Edition, launched in 2014. In January 2019, Bieber launched his own clothing line, Drew and his various items, all with either the smiley face logo or simply Drew written across the front. Bieber trademarked the name for his company in February 2018. In September 2019, after a year-long collaboration with Schmidt's Naturals CEO, Michael Camarata, Bieber released his deodorant line, Here Plus Now. In October 2020, Bieber released limited edition of the Crocs X Justin Bieber Clog, a collaboration with Crocs brand. The design pulls from the classic clog range as well as Bieber's signature yellow from his personal clothing brand, Drew. It sold across select Crocs and partner e-commerce channels, and also sold at Crocs retail stores in China and South Korea as well as on Bieber Clothing Line's website. In fall 2021, Justin Bieber worked with Tim Hortons to launch a specialty version of Timbits known as Tim by Ebbs. CNN credited this promotion with increasing Tim Hortons, sales at some select locations. Chapter 5, Public Image Chapter 5 Section 1, General Bieber has been referred to as the Prince of Pop and the King of Teen Pop by contemporary journalists. Usher commented that while he and Bieber were both signed at the same age, I had the chance to ramp up my success, where this has happened to Bieber abruptly. As a result, when he was younger, Usher, Braun, Bieber's bodyguard, and other adults surrounding Bieber constantly coached him on handling fame and his public image. After signing Bieber, Usher appointed one of his former assistants, Ryan Good, to be Bieber's road manager and stylist. Good, once nicknamed Bieber's swagger coach, created a streetwise look for the singer which consisted of baseball caps, hoodies, dog chains and flashy sneakers. Amy Kaufman of the Los Angeles Times comments, though a product of a middle-class suburban upbringing in Stratford, Ontario, Bieber's manner of dress and speech suggest he's mimicking his favorite rappers. In 2013, Bieber said he was very influenced by black culture, but he neither thought of it as black or white nor tried to act or pose in a certain way. To him, it was a lifestyle, like a suaveness, or a swag. Wax statues of him with the hairstyle from his early career are on display at the Madame Tussauds Wax Museums in New York City, London, and Amsterdam. Bieber was often featured in teen magazines such as Tiger Beat, and has been labeled a teen heartthrob. In 2010, he was frequently criticized for looking and sounding younger than his age, and the following year for an androgynous appearance which had been commonly noted in the media, including his appearance on the cover of Love magazine's androgyny issue in 2011. His teen pop music, image, and the media attention he receives have additionally been criticized. He has been a target of internet bloggers and message board posters, especially users of the internet message board 4chan and of YouTube. Nick Collins of the Daily Telegraph said that Bieber's character appears to strike a particularly sour note with his internet critics who have questioned his manner of speech, among other things. In his 20s, especially after his marriage in 2018, Bieber's persona changed. As his fan base got older and he got married, Bieber transitioned away from the teenage heartthrob image, taking on a more mature personality, and a more soft spoken style of speech. In an interview with Vogue in February 2019, Bieber said that he would laugh at his past self.
Bieber was included among the top 10 highest paid celebrities under 30 annual list in the world by Forbes magazine. He has been listed six times in 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2016 and 2017. Chapter 5 Section 2 YouTube and Twitter Bieber's early fanbase developed on YouTube and predated the release of his debut album My World. According to Jan Hoffman of the New York Times, part of Bieber's appeal stems from his YouTube channel. Chicago Tribune noted that Bieber's fanbase, Beliebers, was among the top words of 2010. Long before the November 2009 release of My World, his YouTube videos attracted millions of views. Braun recognized the appeal. Before flying him to Atlanta, Braun wanted to build him up more on YouTube first and had Bieber record more home videos for the channel. I said, Justin, sing like there's no one in the room. But let's not use expensive cameras. We'll give it to kids, let them do the work, so that they feel like it's theirs, recalled Braun. Bieber continues to upload videos to the same channel and has opened a Twitter account, from which he interacts with fans regularly. In January 2013, Bieber surpassed Lady Gaga, as the most followed person on Twitter for the first time and held the record for 11 months. As of 2022, Bieber is the second most followed user on Twitter and the most followed musician on the platform, with over 114.2 million followers. His YouTube channel is currently the most viewed music channel for an individual on the platform, having attracted over 27 billion views. With over 67.2 million subscribers, he remains the most subscribed solo artist on YouTube and held the overall record for six years. The music video for Bieber's song Baby is among the most liked videos on YouTube, having received over 20 million likes since its upload in 2010. Bieber was frequently a trending topic on Twitter when the feature first launched because his fans frequently discussed him on the network, and he was named the top trending star on Twitter in 2010, Cloud gave his account a score of 100. In April 2013, the social media analysis company Social Bakers concluded that 16.7 million of Bieber's then 37 million Twitter followers were not genuine. Chapter 6 Personal Life as Bieber resides in the United States, he is reported to possess an O-1 visa for temporary resident status, based on extraordinary ability or achievement in a field. Bieber has said he is not interested in obtaining U.S. citizenship, and has praised Canada as being the best country in the world, citing its mostly government-funded health care system as a model example. However, in September 2018, TMZ reported that Bieber had begun the process of becoming an American citizen, following his marriage to Haley Baldwin. Bieber owns a $25.8 million home in Beverly Hills as well as a lakeside home in Ontario. Chapter 6, Section 1, Relationships Bieber's father, Jeremy Bieber, is a former carpenter and pro mixed martial artist. In March 2014, Rolling Stone characterized Jeremy as having split with Justin's mom when Justin was a toddler, and wasn't always around afterward. But he has, as of late, accepted a place of honor in his superstar son's entourage. From 2008 to 2009, Bieber was in a relationship with Caitlin Beadles, the two remained friends, and Beadles attended Bieber's wedding. From December 2010 to March 2018, Bieber was in an on-again, off-again relationship with singer and actress Selena Gomez. In an interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Bieber stated that some of his songs including Sorry, Mark My Words, and What Do You Mean, are about his relationship with Gomez. From August to December 2016, he was linked to model Sophia Ritchie. Bieber became engaged to model Haley Baldwin on July 7, 2018. They had briefly dated from December 2015 to January 2016 before splitting, then reconciled in June 2018. Bieber and Baldwin reportedly obtained a marriage license in September 2018, leading to reports that they had a civil marriage. On September 14, 2018, 
Baldwin stated on Twitter that she and Bieber had not yet married, but deleted the tweet afterward. On November 23, 2018, Bieber stated he was married to Baldwin. Bieber and Baldwin had an official ceremony in Bluffton, South Carolina, on September 30, 2019. Chapter 6, Section 2, Beliefs Bieber has described himself as a faithful Christian, said he communicates with God via prayer, and that he's the reason I'm here. He reflected his faith in a music video with Brandon Burke, titled Hashtag I Pledge, in which he talks about God's forgiveness. Bieber was baptized on January 9, 2014, by Pentecostal pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong Church New York, after a born-again experience. He has described Lentz as a good friend. When asked how he wants to raise his children, Bieber said, I'm a Jesus follower. When you accept Jesus, you walk with the Holy Spirit. I just want to be led by the Holy Spirit. Many of Bieber's tattoos have religious significance including the medium-sized cross on his chest and a tiny cross under his eye. Bieber also covered up the Son of God text tattooed on his abdomen with a large design that features two angels, gothic arches, a skeleton and a serpent. On July 24, 2021, Bieber led worship with gospel singers Carrie Job and Cody Carnes during the Freedom Experience at SoFi Stadium. The trio performed The Blessing. Regarding sexual abstinence, Bieber told music magazine Rolling Stone in 2011, I don't think you should have sex with anyone unless you love them. He added that he does not believe in abortion, and that it is like killing a baby. When asked about the case of abortion with regard to rape, however, he said, I guess I haven't been in that position, so I wouldn't be able to judge that. His view on sexual orientation is quoted as everyone's own decision, and he has contributed to the It Gets Better project, a non-profit group aiming to prevent suicide among LGBT youth. Chapter 6 Section 3 Philanthropy Bieber supports Pencils of Promise, a charity founded by Adam Braun, the younger brother of Bieber's manager. The organization builds schools in developing countries, and Bieber became manager for the organization's campaign in Guatemala. He serves as a celebrity spokesman for the organization by running ads for the charity and its campaign schools for all. He promises to visit schools that donate the most funds to the organization. He takes part in the charity's fundraising galas and donates parts of the proceeds from his concerts and someday line of fragrances, and various merchandising to the charity. In 2010, Bieber supported a campaign for people for the ethical treatment of animals by urging fans to adopt abandoned pets from shelters. Bieber donated his hair to Ellen DeGeneres during his appearance in her talk show The Ellen DeGeneres Show in March 2011. His hair sold on eBay for more than $40,000, and the proceeds benefited the animal rescue charity, The Gentle Barn. Following the earthquake and tsunami in Japan in March 2011, Bieber donated proceeds from his concerts in Japan to Japanese Red Cross in May 2011. In December 2011, Bieber donated $100,000 to Whitney Elementary School in Las Vegas to provide students from low-income families. Bieber supported charity, Water, a non-profit that brings potable drinking water to people in developing countries. On his birthday in 2011 and 2012, he launched his campaign to urge his followers to donate on Twitter. Bieber was named Top Charitable Celeb of 2011 by American News Aggregator and Blog Huff Post. In 2013, Bieber launched his online hashtag Give Back Philippines campaign for helping the victims of Typhoon Haiyan and traveled to the Philippines after raising $3 million. His work in the country earned him a star on the Philippine Walk of Fame. He also supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Alzheimer's Association. In September 2017, Bieber donated $25,000 to the American Red Cross to help people in Texas after the severe destruction caused by Hurricane Harvey got on February 7, 2020. Bieber donated $100,000 to Julie Coker, a 22-year-old fan who works in mental health awareness. Coca revealed that her own past struggles with mental health motivated her to work for mental health. 
she praised Bieber by saying, has a big following, so if he has a good message about mental health, hopefully everybody else will want to start thinking about mental health in a different way. In February 2020, Bieber made a donation to Beijing Chunmao Children Aid Foundation in China to support COVID-19 relief. Bieber and Ariana Grande collaborated on the single Stuck With You, released in May 2020 as the first of series of singles coordinated by entertainment executive Scooter Braun, who is also Bieber's manager, to support the COVID-19 pandemic. All net proceeds from the song went to the First Responders Children's Foundation to fund grants and scholarships for children of first responders and health care workers who worked on the front lines during the pandemic. By August 2021, the single had raised over $3,500,000. In September 2020, Bieber and Chance the Rapper announced that they've partnered with Cash App and will donate $250,000 to fans who are struggling during the pandemic. In March 2021, Bieber visited the California State Prison in Los Angeles County along with his wife Haley and Pastor Judah Smith, at the invitation of Scott Budnick. Bieber met with inmates involved in the Urban Ministry Institute and expressed support for Budnick's anti recidivism coalition. During the visit, Bieber committed to provide buses to transport relatives of the inmates who have been unable to see them due to the COVID-19 pandemic in California. Bieber described his visit to the prison as a life-changing experience that I will never forget. Chapter 6 Section 4 Legal Issues and Controversies Bieber had several run-ins with the law around the world before his first arrest in 2014 including when he was accused of reckless driving in his neighborhood in 2012, and charged in Brazil with vandalism in 2013. One of his neighbors in Calabasas, California, accused Bieber of throwing eggs at his home on January 9, 2014, and causing thousands of dollars of damage. On January 23, 2014, Bieber was arrested in Miami Beach, Florida, together with singer Khalil, on suspicion of driving under the influence, driving with an over six-month expired license, and resisting arrest without violence. Police said that Bieber told authorities he had consumed alcohol, smoked marijuana, and taken prescription drugs. He was released from these charges on a $2,500 bond. A toxicology report revealed that Bieber had THC and the anti-anxiety medication Xanax in his system at the time of his arrest. However, in January 2021, he reflected on this event, describing it as not finest hour and encouraging fans to let the forgiveness of Jesus take over and watch your life blossom into all that God has designed you to be. Following Bieber's arrest on the DUI charge, more than 270,000 people petitioned the White House, seeking to have him deported from the United States. Although the number of signatures received was sufficient to require a response under published White House guidelines, the Obama administration declined substantive comment on the petition. Immigration law expert Harlan York noted that the likelihood of Bieber being deported was extremely slim. York stated, about a decade ago, the Supreme Court ruled that driving under the influence, typically, is not a basis to deport someone. In April 2013, Bieber was criticized for writing a message in the guestbook at the Anne Frank House which read, truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. After the message was posted on the museum's Facebook page, Bieber received widespread criticism on social media for perceived insensitivity and narcissism. The Anne Frank House defended Bieber, stating, he's 19. It's a crazy life he's living, he didn't mean bad he was very interested in the story of Anne Frank and stayed for over an hour. We hope that his visit will inspire his fans to learn more about her life and hopefully read the diary. On July 9, 2014, Bieber was charged with one misdemeanor count of vandalism in California for throwing eggs at his Calabasas neighbor's home in January. Police earlier claimed that they had video footage of him high-fiving friends after the eggs were thrown. With him pleading no contest to the charge, the Los Angeles County Superior Court sentenced him on July 9 to pay $80,900 in restitution, serve two years probation, complete 12 weeks of anger management, 
and five days of community service in what the district attorney termed a negotiated settlement. Since then, he has permanently moved to Beverly Hills, California. On August 13, 2014, the January DUI case was settled with a plea bargain. Bieber pleaded guilty to resisting an officer without violence and a lesser charge of driving without due care and attention. He was fined 500 US dollars and sentenced to attend a 12-hour anger management course and a program that teaches the impact of drunken driving on victims. As part of the plea bargain, he made a 50,000 US dollars contribution to our kids, a local children's charity. On September 1, 2014, Bieber was arrested and charged with assault and dangerous driving near his hometown of Stratford, Ontario, after a collision between a minivan and Bieber's all-terrain vehicle on August 29. Ontario police said that he then engaged in a physical altercation with an occupant of the minivan. He was released shortly and his lawyer blamed the incident on the unwelcome presence of paparazzi. On September 8, Toronto dropped an assault charge against him originally brought up on January 29 for an incident with a limousine driver in December 2013. In November 2014, he was ordered to appear in Argentina within 60 days by a Buenos Aires court to give testimony on an alleged assault on a photographer on November 9, 2013. When he failed to do so, an arrest warrant was issued and two of his bodyguards were released in Argentina in April 2015. In June 2014, a video emerged of a 15 year old Bieber telling a joke about black people, which used the word nigger multiple times. In the same month, a second video showed a 15 year old Bieber giggling as he croons his song One Less Lonely Girl, but parodying the main lyric as One Less Lonely Nigger, and stating that if he were to kill one, he would be part of the KKK. He apologized the day the latter was released, facing my mistakes from years ago has been one of the hardest things I've ever dealt with. In July 2017, the Chinese government banned Bieber from performing in China. A Chinese Bieber fan contacted the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Culture requesting the reason for the ban. The bureau released a statement, explaining Justin Bieber is a gifted singer, but he is also a controversial young foreign singer, and in order to maintain order in the Chinese market, and purify the Chinese performance environment, it is not suitable to bring in badly behaved entertainers. In 2021, Chinese streaming sites Yuku, Aichiyi, and Tencent Video removed Bieber's scenes in Friends, the reunion donning Ross Geller's iconic Sputnik costume. In June 2020, Bieber was accused of sexual assault by an anonymous woman, merely known as Danielle, who claimed on Twitter that the singer had made non-consensual sexual acts at a Four Seasons hotel in Austin, Texas in March 2014 while with then-girlfriend Selena Gomez. The woman claimed that she had been inspired to tell her story by Twitter user It's Gabby, who had accused actor Ansel Elgort of sexual assault the week prior. In a series of tweets Bieber denied all the allegations, stating that sexual abuse is something I don't take lightly. He provided proof that he was not present in the location within the time that the alleged incident took place, dismissing all allegations. Chapter 6, Section 5, Health Bieber has struggled with mental health issues, particularly depression and anxiety, at various points during his career. He has generally been open about these issues. On January 8, 2020, Bieber announced on his Instagram that he had been diagnosed with Lyme disease. He also revealed that he has infectious mononucleosis, which affected his neurological and overall health. On February 20, 2022, it was reported that Bieber had tested positive for COVID 19. Chapter 7 Achievements Throughout his career, Bieber has sold an estimated 150 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling music artists of all time. In 2011, Bieber was honored with a star in front of Avon Theatre in Stratford, Ontario, Canada, where he used to busk when he was younger. On November 23, 2012, Bieber was presented with the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal by the former Prime Minister of Canada, Stephen Harper. He was one of 60,000 Canadians to receive the Diamond Jubilee Medal that year. In 2013, 
Bieber received a diamond award from the Recording Industry Association of America for his single Baby, which at the time became the highest certified digital single of all time. Bieber is credited with three diamond certified singles from the RIA for Baby, Sorry, and Despacito. Bieber has won two Grammy Awards out of 22 nominations, one Latin Grammy Award, two Brit Awards, 21 Billboard Music Awards, and numerous fan-voted accolades which include 18 American Music Awards, 23 Teen Choice Awards, 6 iHeartRadio Music Awards, and 6 MTV Video Music Awards. He has also won a record 21 MTV Europe Music Awards, including one special award. In 2015, Bieber released Where Are You Now with Jack U, which is widely regarded as one of the biggest dance music crossover hits of the 2010s, and is said to have influenced the direction of contemporary pop music. On September 19, 2015, Bieber became the youngest solo male artist to debut at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. Following the release of his fourth studio album Purpose, Bieber set major milestones globally. He became the first artist, since Elvis Presley in 2005, to replace his own song as number one on the UK singles chart. He is the first artist in history to occupy the entire top three of the UK singles chart. He achieved this feat as Love Yourself, Sorry and What Do You Mean? Charted at positions 1, 2 and 3 simultaneously. The singles also peaked at number 1 in the US, making Bieber the first male artist since Justin Timberlake in 2007 to have three number ones from an album. He also became the first solo artist to chart three solo songs in the top five of the US Billboard Hot 100 simultaneously, and the first as a lead act since the Beatles in 1964. Love Yourself topped Billboard's year-end Hot 100 chart in 2016, followed by Sorry at number two, and made Bieber only the third artist in history to hold the top two positions of the Billboard year-end Hot 100, after the Beatles in 1964 and Usher in 2004. As of 2021, Bieber has set 32 Guinness World Records, which include eight that were achieved from the success of his album Purpose and was featured in the 2017 edition. These records included the most streamed track on Spotify in one week, the most streamed album on Spotify in one week, the most simultaneous tracks on the US Billboard Hot 100, and the most simultaneous new entries on the US Billboard Hot 100 by a solo artist, among others. In 2017, Bieber became the first artist in history to chart new number one singles in consecutive weeks. His remix to Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee's Despacito reached number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 a week after DJ Khaled's I'm the One debuted at number one, both songs on which he is a featured artist. Despacito became a global success and has been widely credited by music journalists as being instrumental in popularizing Latin pop music in the mainstream market again. It tied the then record for the most weeks at number one in US Billboard Hot 100 history. The song is the most streamed track worldwide. Billboard ranked Despacito at number one on the greatest of all time hot Latin songs and number five on the greatest of all time songs of the summer charts respectively. In 2018, Steps to Stardom, an exhibit on Bieber's early career, opened in his hometown of Stratford, Ontario at the Stratford Perth Museum, offering a collection of mementos from his formative years and rise to international stardom. The items on display include a professional drum kit he owned as a younger child, his Grammy Award, microphones, his Stratford Warriors hockey jacket, and personal letters, including one from Michelle Obama. Beaver made a number of visits to the museum. Steps to Stardom was originally scheduled to close in October 2018 but the board of the museum extended its stay for at least another year after the exhibit broke attendance records set by its and Frank House exhibit in 2015. In 2019, Bieber became the youngest solo male artist to spend 200 cumulative weeks in the top 10 of the US Billboard Hot 100. In 2021, Bieber's sixth studio album Justice and the fifth single from the album, Peaches, simultaneously debuted at number one on both the US Billboard 200 and the US Billboard Hot 100 charts respectively, 
making Bieber the first solo male artist in history to do so. He also became the first solo male artist to top the US Billboard Hot 100, Billboard Global 200, and Billboard Global 200 excluding US charts simultaneously. On July 24, 2021, he became the youngest solo artist to chart 100 songs on the US Billboard Hot 100, breaking a record held previously by Drake. Bieber is the first artist in Spotify history to have 10 tracks surpass 1 billion streams each. He is currently the artist with the most songs in the top 100 most streamed songs on Spotify, with six entries. His collaboration with the Kid Leroy, Stay, is the most streamed song in a single week by a male artist in Spotify history. Bieber holds the all-time record for the most monthly listeners on Spotify, for attracting over 94.6 million monthly listeners. Bieber is the solo artist with the most number one singles and the artist with the most cumulative weeks at number one on the official New Zealand music chart. He is also the first and only artist to have three singles, spend, ten or more weeks at number one in New Zealand. He is the artist with the most, top 50 singles on the Irish singles chart. Beaver has attained notable success on numerous billboard charts both in the United States and globally. Eight singles by Bieber have topped the US Billboard Hot 100, his most recent being Stay. He is the solo male artist with the most number one singles, the most top ten singles, the most cumulative weeks at number one, and the male artist with the most entries on the Billboard Pop Songs chart. His hit single Despacito has spent the most weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot Latin Songs chart and was the Hot Latin Songs year-end number one single for two consecutive years, in 2017 and 2018. Bieber is the first artist in history to reach number one on seven multi-metric Billboard charts, Hot 100, Hot Country Songs, Hot Dance Slash Electronic Songs, Hot Latin Songs, Hot R&B Songs, Hot R&B Slash Hip Hop Songs, and Hot Rap Songs. He is the male artist with the most number one singles and the solo male artist with the most cumulative weeks at number one on Billboard's digital song sales chart. He is the artist with the most number one debuts, most number one singles, and the most cumulative weeks at number one on the Billboard Canadian Hot 100 chart. Bieber is the solo artist with the most number one singles and the male artist with the most cumulative weeks at number one on the Billboard Global 200 chart. He is the solo artist with the most number one singles, the most cumulative weeks at number one, and the artist with the most top 10 entries on the Billboard Global 200 excluding US chart. Bieber is the solo artist with the most cumulative weeks at number one on the Billboard Social 50 chart. He was named the number one artist on Billboard's Decade End Social 50 chart for the 2010s. Bieber was named the greatest pop star of 2016 by Billboard. He was also named the Billboard Year End Top Male Artist for 2016 and placed number seven on the magazine's Decade End Top Artists chart for the 2010s. The magazine also ranked him 55th on the Greatest of All Time Artists and 38th on the Greatest of All Time Hot 100 Artists charts respectively. All of Bieber's studio albums are certified platinum, or higher by the RIA and have received numerous accolades. He became the first solo artist to have four singles reach the top 40 of the US Billboard Hot 100 before the release of a debut album. Following the release of his debut EP My World, he became the first artist to have seven songs from a debut album chart on the US Billboard Hot 100. His debut studio album My World, 2.0 debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200, making Bieber the youngest solo male artist to top the chart since Stevie Wonder in 1963. Under the Mistletoe, his second studio album, became the first Christmas album by a male artist to debut at number one on the US Billboard 200. On November 19, 2021, the album was listed among the greatest of all time top holiday albums chart by Billboard. Two singles from the album Mistletoe and All I Want for Christmas Is You are listed among the greatest of all time holiday 100 songs chart by Billboard. 
As Believe Acoustic debuted at number one in the US, Bieber became the youngest artist to have five US number one albums. At the age of 25, he became the youngest solo artist to achieve seven number one albums in the US with changes, breaking a 59-year-old record set by Elvis Presley. He further extended his record, after turning 27, by becoming the youngest solo artist to have eight US number one albums, following the release of his sixth studio album Justice, breaking yet another chart record set by Elvis Presley at the age of 29. He also became the first male act to have his first six studio albums debut at number one on the US Billboard 200. Chapter 8 Discography Studio Albums My World 2.0 Under the Mistletoe Believe Purpose Changes Justice Chapter 9 Filmography Justin Bieber Never Say Never. Men in Black 3. Katy Perry, Part of Me. Zendaya, Behind the Scenes. Justin Bieber's Believe. Behaving Badly. Lip Sync Battle. Zoolander 2. Killing Hasselhoff. Justin Bieber, Seasons. Justin Bieber, Our World. Chapter 10 Tours Urban Behavior Tour My World Tour Believe Tour Purpose World Tour Justice World Tour